Catch Me If You Can by Carol Schaffner Illustrated by Tim Mack Characters Narrator King Henry Atalanta Two Messengers Five Young Men Young John Spectators Four to Five Atalanta Narrator Once upon a time, there lived a princess named Atalanta, who could run as fast as the wind. Atalanta runs on, stops to check wind, sticks finger in mouth, holds it up, then runs in place a bit. Not only was she a good runner, she was also bright and clever. Atalanta points to brain, and very handy. Atalanta could fix or build almost anything. She takes out small hammer and fixes chair. Many young men thought she was wonderful and wanted to marry her. Five young men enter, gaze at her adoringly. She turns her back on them, then looks over her shoulder and waves them away. They exit sadly. Atalanta's father, King Henry, thought it was high time for her to get married. King enters. Adoringly. If you act adoringly, you act with a lot of love and admiration. King. Atalanta, my dear, it's time for you to settle down. Atalanta, rolling her eyes. Oh, Dad, we've had this talk before. King. Yes, I know and you still haven't listened to me, so I have decided to choose your husband for you. Atalanta You must be kidding. I haven't decided if I even want to get married, and if I do, I'm perfectly capable of choosing my own husband. Besides, you've taught me to think for myself, and what I really want to do right now is go out and see the world. King Wherever did you get such a silly idea? Atalanta From you, right after you returned from your tenth trip around the world. Capable If a person is capable, he or she has the skill or ability to do something. King Oh, well, that was official kingly business, mostly. And since I am king and your father, you will do as I say. Atalanta But, Dad... King No buts. I have thought of the perfect way to choose your husband. I will hold a race, and whoever wins will also win the right to marry you. Atalanta As if cooking up an idea. Whatever you say, Dad, but I get to race too. If I lose, steps toward audience, and I don't plan to, steps back. I will accept the wishes of the young man who wins the race. King, you've got yourself a deal. They shake hands, then walk off together. Narrator, the king was pleased, because not only would he get his daughter married, everyone would get to watch a good race. So messengers were sent throughout the kingdom to announce the race. Two messengers enter, unroll scrolls. First messenger. Hear ye, hear ye. Second messenger. His Highness, King Henry, announces a race and invites all young men to participate. First messenger. The winner wins the right to marry his daughter, totally awesome, Princess Atalanta. Second messenger. No kidding? Can we try out two? First messenger. Why not? Second messenger. Let's get out our sneakers. They run off. Narrator. Atalanta, determined to win, got up every morning at dawn to run. She runs in. Atalanta. Checking time on her watch. Phew! All this practice is really improving my time. Well, 
One more jog around the town. She runs off. Narrator. As the day of the race grew nearer, young men began to arrive. Five young men enter. First young man. I am so ready for this race. Second young man. Not as ready as I am. Third young man. I even went out and bought a new pair of running shoes. Shows off shoes. Fourth young man. Just imagine. After the race, I'll be marrying Princess Atalanta. Fifth young man. Hey, don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Narrator. Just then, young John walked by. He lived in the town and had seen Atalanta only from a distance, but he knew how bright and interesting she was. Young John enters. Second young man. Hey, young John, are you going to try out for the race? Young John. I was thinking about it. First young man. You're going to have to do more than just think about it to beat us. Third young man. So you want a chance to marry Princess Atalanta, too? Young John. Not really. I just want a chance to talk to her, get to know her. Fifth young man. Talk to her? What's the deal with that? Men scoff at him. Young John. I just don't think it's right for Atalanta's father to give her away as a prize. She should get to choose who she wants to marry, or even if she wants to get married at all. First young man. That's really weird. Let's go, guys. Young men exit. Narrator. Each evening, to get in shape for the race, young John went out for a run. He runs around stage. Soon, he could run as fast as the wind. Young John, jogging in place. I think I'm ready. Practice really does make perfect. Jogs off. Narrator. At last, the day of the race arrived. Trumpets sounded. Messengers enter and blow fanfare on kazoos. Okay, kazoos sounded. And the runners and spectators gathered. Young men, young John, spectators, messengers, and Atalanta enter. All runners stretch out. King Henry enters. King. Welcome, welcome everyone on this great day. To the runners, I wish you good luck. And to you, my dear Atalanta, I must say farewell. By tomorrow, you will be married. Atalanta. Don't be so sure about that, Dad, steps to audience. They're going to eat my dust. King. Runners, to the starting line. They line up at one side of stage. On your mark, get set, go. All start running in slow motion. Spectators do silent, slow motion cheering. Spectators. Spectators are people who watch an event, such as a sports competition. Narrator. At first, the runners ran as a group. But soon, Atalanta pulled ahead. She does so. Before long, most of the runners fell down exhausted. They do, but not young John. Except for one runner, young John kept right up with Atalanta. They are side by side now. Atalanta. What do you think you're doing? Young John. Keeping up with you? Atalanta. I can see that. I'm impressed. They smile at each other. Narrator. Atalanta and young John cross the finish line side by side. Spectators cheer. Atalanta and young John stop running, breathing hard, high-five each other. King, coming to them. Who is this young man, Atalanta? Atalanta. Father, this is young John from our town. Young John extends hand to King. They shake. Young John. Pleased to meet you, Your Highness. King. Well, Young John, 
You didn't exactly win the race, but you came closer than any of the other runners. So I award you the grand prize, the right to marry my daughter. Atalanta frowns. Young John. Thank you very much, sir, but I couldn't possibly marry her unless she wanted to marry me. I really would just like a chance to talk to her and get to know her better. King walks over to spectators, shaking his head in disbelief. Atalanta, smiling. I'd love to get to know you better, too. But I should tell you right up front, I'm not sure about the marriage thing. What I really want to do is go out and see the world. Young John. No kidding. That's exactly what I've been planning to do. What are some places you want to visit? They start walking off. I've just got to see the pyramids and the Grand Canyon. Narrator. And so, Atalanta and young John spent a lovely afternoon together. By the end of the day, they were good friends. The next day, young John set off to see the pyramids, while Atalanta took off for China to see the Great Wall. Perhaps someday they will meet up again. Who knows? In any case, we can be sure that they are both living all happily ever after. The End Disbelief Disbelief is not believing that something is true. 